From Maine and Gervais, this is ABC Columbia News. A cancer memorial stolen from a local park has been found. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for ABC Columbia News at 11. I'm Eric Weisfeld. We're live from Maine and Gervais. My co-anchor Alicia Barnes is off tonight. The statue was taken from the park one year ago. You can see it's missing from this photo. Today, a Richland County deputy on patrol in the lower part of the county actually found it. ABC Columbia's Rochelle Dean spoke with authorities today, joins us live in the newsroom with the very latest. Rochelle. That's right, deputies did find it, and the good news is the statue was completely intact. But it's how and where the statue was discovered that has deputies saying it's a disappearance behind the stolen monument. It's a mystery that's etched in stone for now. Anytime you have something that, that means that much to a community as well as it means that much to us, it, it makes an impact. The absence of the statue made just as much of an impact when it was stolen from Maxie Gregg Park last spring. Parts of the memorial were erected to honor those who've lost their battle or continue living with cancer. But for the last year, there's been a missing piece to the puzzle, evident by this broken off section of bronze from the statue's site. A mystery until Monday morning. Our deputies today were actually out patrolling um, down in Lower Richland looking for stolen items. But we get reports sometimes of, of stolen items being in specific places or the deputies just know from recovering a stolen car, um, stolen this or stolen that, and they'll go back. It just so happens this time the deputy's normal patrol route brought him here near Barnes and Child Streets in Lower Richland where he spotted the bronze statue hidden in this heavily wooded area. Authorities tell us they have no idea how long it's been here, how it was transported to this location or why. But Captain Chris Cowan says his deputy knew what it was immediately and contacted Columbia Police so they could recover the long lost item. One Captain Cowan says touches all of us in one way or another. Cancer is something that's affected all of us. We've had officers here at the Sheriff's Department that have meant a lot to the community, a lot to us here at the Sheriff's Department family that have passed um, because of cancer. Um, we've had a lot of deputies or still have a lot of deputies that are battling with cancer. So, you know, it's, it's, an, it's a significant icon. The bronze statue valued at $5,000 is now in the custody of the Columbia Department of Parks and Recreation. And since this is not the first time the statue was stolen, we did reach out to them to find out if and when it will be replaced and if there will be any new safety measures to keep this from happening again. Our calls were not returned. What we can tell you is whoever is responsible could face grand larceny charges and authorities are asking anyone with information to call Crime Stoppers. Live in the newsroom, Rochelle Dean, ABC Columbia News.